powers and delivered them for elections to hold in Anambra State. All these challenges mean that there have been differences in preparations from one state to another. Our overall assessment is that if the elections went on as planned, polls will not open at 8 in the morning in all polling units nationwide. Yet, we are determined that polls must hold at the same time and in every part of the country. In this way, no elections will be staggered. This is very important to public perception of elections as free, fair, and credible. We promise Nigerians that we shall be open, transparent, and responsive. Faced with these challenges, we initially thought that we only require a maximum of 24 hours to resolve the logistics issues involved and complete our deployment for the election. This would mean shifting the elections to commence on Saturday, 17th February 2019. However, given the restriction of movement during elections, that could affect many voters who worship on Sundays. While the Commission was considering the following Monday, 18th February 2019, as an option, our ICT department advised us that it would, it would require five to six days to reconfigure about 180,000 smart card readers earlier programmed to work only on election day, Saturday, 16th February 2019. It is for this reason that the Commission decided to adjust the election dates to Saturday, 23rd February 2019 for presidential and national assembly elections and a consequential adjustment of governorship, state assembly, and FCT area council elections to Saturday, 9th March 2019. Some sensitive materials have been distributed. However, all such materials have been retrieved and will be taken back to the Central Bank of Nigeria for custody. I want to assure you that there will be proper audit to account for all materials. In the next few days, the Commission will work on the basis of the following plan. Number one, completion or confirmation of deployment of materials. Monday, 18th February 2019. Configuration of smart card readers. Sunday 17th to Thursday 21st February 2019. Receipt and deployment of sensitive materials to local governments. Wednesday 20th and Thursday 21st February 2019. Refresher training for ad hoc staff. Thursday 21st February 2019, deployment of personnel to the registration area centers and the super racks. Friday, 22nd February 2019, election day is Saturday, 23rd February 2019. I want to appeal to Nigerians and all other stakeholders for their understanding in what has been a very difficult decision for the Commission. Our decision is entirely taken by the Commission. It has nothing to do with security, nothing to do with political influence, nothing to do with availability of resources. We believe that ultimately this decision is good for our democracy and for our country. I wish to assure you of our commitment to free, fair, and credible elections. As chairman of INEC, and on behalf of the commission, we take full responsibility for what happened, and we regret any inconvenience our decision might have caused. I thank you all, and God bless you. Respected party leaders and presidential candidates, your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, my colleagues, 
chairman of electoral commissions from our sub-region representing the Republic of Sierra Leone. I can see Mohamed Alfanje from the Republic of Sierra Leone. I can see my colleague from the Republic of Gambia, the chairman of the Electoral Commission Gambia. Thank you very much. Ahmed Barry Newton from Burkina. Thank you, Barry. Our sister, Maria de Rosario Gonsalves, chairperson of the Electoral Commission of Kebad. And our friend, the chairman or representative of the chairman of the Electoral Commission of Niger Republic. And then Tete, representing the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much, members of civil society organizations. Thank you very much, national and international observers, ladies and gentlemen. About 13 hours ago, I conveyed to Nigerians the decision of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to reschedule the 2019 general elections by one week. Presidential and National Assembly elections earlier scheduled for 16th February 2019 will now hold on Saturday, 23rd February 2019, while governorship, state assembly, and FCT area council elections scheduled for the 2nd of March 2019 will now hold on Saturday, 9th March 2019. The one-week adjustment was a painful one for INIC, but necessary in the overall interest of our democracy. Nigerians will recall that when this commission was appointed in November 2015, we promised Nigerians two cardinal things. First, we shall work hard to consolidate the improvements made in the management of elections in Nigeria since 2011. Secondly, we shall always be open, transparent, and responsive. We have strived diligently to keep these promises in very trying circumstances. In keeping with our promise to consolidate the gains of the last two electoral cycles, the Commission conducted 195 rerun and off-season elections across the country since the last general elections in 2015. Most of these elections have been generally adjudged to show progressive improvements in planning, execution, and outcomes. This commitment to continue to improve on election administration has informed our preparations for the 2019 general elections. Our goal is to plan carefully, execute meticulously, and bring stability into election management in Nigeria. Consequently, we announced fixed dates for election in Nigeria to the effect that presidential and national assembly elections will always hold on the third Saturday of the month of February of an election year, while governorship and state assembly elections follow two weeks later. Having settled this, we began the planning quite early with a strategic plan, a strategic program of action, and an election project plan. In fact, the plan for the 2019 general elections was already in the offing in November 2017, and we subsequently issued the timetable and schedule of activities for the elections over a year ago on the 9th of January 2018. We carefully followed the timetable and implemented 13 out of 14 activities as scheduled. Not one aspect was postponed, 13 out of 14. We kept to the time frame and have not missed the date for any single activity. In preparing 
for the 2019 general elections, we have come face to face with the realities of conducting such an extensive national deployment of men and materials in a developing country such as ours. It is said that elections constitute the most extensive mobilization of men and materials that any country can undertake in peacetime. The challenges of doing so, even under the best circumstances, are enormous. Within a period of 16 months, we registered over 14 million Nigerians as new voters, collecting their names, addresses, photographs, and the entire 10 fingerprints. Beyond that, we prepared, printed, and delivered their permanent voter cards for collection. I should note that of the 14.28 million permanent voter cards made available for collection, about 10.87 million, or 76.12 percent, have already been collected. It is often not appreciated the magnitude of activities that the Commission undertakes during general elections. Not only the recruitment and training of about a million people to serve as ad hoc staff, the magnitude of materials mobilized for our election is simply enormous. For instance, INEC has printed 400 and 21.7 million ballot papers for the six scheduled elections, as well as 13.6 million leaves, as well as 13.6 million leaves of result forms for the presidential election alone. Indeed, managing 91 political parties and 23,316 candidates for whom votes will be cast in 119,973 polling units by over 84 million voters is certainly astounding. No doubt, preparations for the 2019 general elections have been extensively tasking for INEC. It is therefore not unexpected that such a tremendous national mobilization of men and materials will encounter operational challenges and we have had our own fair share of, this, of these challenges. There has been delays in delivering ballot papers and result sheets for the elections, which is not unusual. However, I must emphasize that all ballot papers and result sheets were ready before the elections, despite the very tight legal framework for finalizing nominations of candidates and dealing with the spate of legal challenges that accompany it. In this regard, the Commission has been sued or joined in 640 court cases arising from the nomination of candidates alone. As of today, there are 40 different court orders against the Commission on whether to add or drop candidates. Interestingly, the last order actually arrived yesterday. The net effect of this is that there is usually roughly one month window for the Commission to print ballot papers and result sheets and either fly or transport them to several destinations until they finally get to each of the polling units. Unfortunately, in the last one week, flights within the country have been adversely affected by bad weather. For instance, three days ago, we were unable to deliver materials to some locations due to bad weather. We therefore had to rely on slow-moving, long-haulage vehicles to locations that can be serviced by air, in spite of the fact that we created five zonal hubs, Abuja for the North Central, Port Harcourt for the South South and South East, Kano for the Northwest, Maiduguri and Yola for the northeast and Lagos for the southwest to facilitate the delivery of electoral logistics. Apart from these logistical challenges, we also faced what may well be attempts to sabotage 
our preparations. In a space of two weeks, we had to deal with serious fire incidents in three of our offices in Isia Langwa, South, local government area of Abia State, Kwampan, local government area of Plateau State, and our Anambra State Office in Oka. In all three cases, serious disruptions were occasioned by the fire, further diverting our attention from regular preparations to recovery from the impact of the incidents. In Isia Laungwa South, hundreds of PVCs were burned, necessitating the recompiling of the affected cards and reprinting them in time to ensure that the affected voters are not disenfranchised. I am glad to say that all the cards were quickly reprinted and made available for collection by their owners. In Kwampan, local government area, our entire office was raised, destroying all the materials prepared for the elections, from the printed voter registers, the ballot boxes, the voting cubicles, and several electricity generating sets. 11 registration areas with over 100 polling units were affected by the fire. We recovered quickly and have since replaced everything destroyed in Kwampan. In addition, we secured a suitable building from which to conduct the elections. Perhaps the most serious was the fire incident in our Anambra office in Oka, which destroyed over 4,600 smart card readers being prepared for the elections. These card readers take at least six months to procure. Despite this setback, we have practically recovered from this by mopping up every available spare smart card reader across the country within 20